The Nakaiba wetland, now pristine and fully restored to its beautiful natural state. A drive through the wetland now shows nature at its very best and how Nakaiba would look like if all of it were to be rehabilitated. Stretching over 63 kilometers in total, only 5 kilometers of it was fully restored. This part was the part that was most damaged by illegal human activity. The wetland lies between two communities which once competed in degrading it by establishing washing bays and carried out environmentally wasteful brick making, besides building homes and settling in. But all this has changed after a three-year struggle that began in 2007 to evict all the encroachers who had turned the area into a dry land claiming it was free and available land. The restoration was carried out by Massacre District Environment Office. First of all, we carried out registration of all people who were working or staying in this wetland. Each category was registered. Those who had land titles, they brought them. Those who had land agreements, who had bought, they brought. So. We, we combined and scrutinized everything. Nakaiba wetland was once encroached on in the 1980s. A second wave of settlements took place in the 1990s. By the time the evictions were carried out, more than 200 families had settled there. It ranges from people lacking land, shortage of land, others poverty, uh, Others, because the area now, as you can see, it is becoming heavily populated, so even the population of pressure. So people came in with the different objectives. Nakaiba is an important wetland and serves an important role as the main catchment area in Masaka. The wetland is used to filter all the sewage produced by the national water. Before it was restored, this role had been compromised. The wetland had become filthy and heavily polluted because of the damage that had been done to its natural flow and its ability to filter pollutants due to the unnatural settlements that had been developed. Now that it is restored, there is now a great improvement in the operations of the National Water and Storage Corporation. The process to restore Nakaiba was gradual. It began with the evacuation of temporary settlers. This was followed by replanting fresh papyrus and removal of all the gardens and farming activity in the wetland. Restoration of the Uganda wetland cover which seems to have very few success stories seems to come with so many challenges like people's attitude among others. Yeah, we still have a problem of uh, grazers and, uh, and nursery operators especially grazers and some people who are, who are making bricks along the, the boundary, uh, along the, the, mark, the wetland edge. However, not all the illegal farmers have left. Some farmers still have banana plantations and sensational crops like tomatoes and cabbages in the wetland. They claim they still are awaiting proper demarcation of what constitutes the wetland. They also claim the area they were farming in is outside the wetland. But the national policy on wetland says any settlement near the wetland has to be 50 meters away from a natural resource. And clearly, this has not been observed. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ecotalk. <laughs>